Hello everyone, welcome to your pick a card reading. This reading today is going to focus on what you could be, what you could expect to be coming towards you during this spring or vernal equinox. As most of us know, the spring equinox is usually when the new astrological year begins because that is when around this time is when the sun enters Aries, which is the first sign on the zodiac wheel. Uh, Aries being, as some people say, the purebred of the zodiac, uh, this is when that initiation begins. So, Happy New Year to all of you. Now, we have three decks in front of us. Uh, the first deck is the Hermetic Tarot and upon it we have an Azurite with Malachite. The second deck, uh, or pile two, uh, is the Fountain Tarot with a blue Kyanite Raw. And finally, we have the animal deck with the good old lapis lazuli. Take a moment, see which crystal or which deck resonates with you and the timestamps will be in the description box down below. See you in your reading. Hello, pile one. If you picked the hermetic tarot or the azurite with malachite, this is your reading. I'm going to put this to the side just for a second while I pull a Wisdom of the Oracle and a Monology for you just to kickstart the reading. Uh, I'm not focusing on love or career or anything in particular. We will just see what pops up. All right. Oh, how lovely. We have Loyal Heart. This doesn't come out very often. It's one of the most beautiful cards in the deck, um, but it doesn't show itself much. All right, uh, let us quickly get you a monology and then we shall proceed. No, there we go. We have Be Proud of Yourself. Again, a very rare card from this deck. It doesn't show up much. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Beautiful. All right, pile one. Skimming over this real quick before I pull your tarot. The Loyal Heart card, um, well, it kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? But the Loyal Heart talks about love that you very well uh, may receive from another, which is true and authentic. Uh, it may be a love that you give to another, which is true and authentic. It could very well even mean a pet coming into your life who almost completes you, who balances out your energy, balances out your aura and almost seals all the leaks that we all have in our auras time and time again. And it talks about being authentic. There are two keys on the bunting right here and buntings in the tarot represent celebration. And I think the keys right here are suggesting that you hold the key to someone's heart and vice versa. So if you are looking for love, um, I would expect it to be knocking at your door very soon. All right. Uh, let's pull out your tarot. I forgot to mention the um, monology. I mean, that card speaks for itself, but I will relate it to your spread. Let's get a couple of cards for pile one. We have the five of swords. Not a great start. Two of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Okay. I don't read reversals, guys. Seven of Swords. Been going through something. Eight of Swords, my goodness. All right. Finally, ah, oh, the Ten of Cups. Wow. Whether this is a journey uh, you've undertaken in the recent past or something that has been happening for a while now, uh, I feel like it's been, sorry, I just need to adjust the camera. It's been pretty arduous for you. 
I mean, going through this energy of the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords is not easy for anybody. Uh, I feel that there may have been an individual around you who did not have your best interest at heart. And I feel like it says the Lord of Defeat, which is quite interesting because in the original Rider Waite, we see a fellow who's walking casually onto a battlefield and picking up swords and claiming victory uh, over that battlefield without partaking in, in the war, so to speak. So for me, it's a card of a shortcut to success. So somebody around you may have come in and may have put in minimal effort and expected to reap the rewards, so to speak. Um, right under that, we have the Lord of Unstable Effort, which is the Seven of Swords. Again, minimal effort. Maybe there were, this was an in and out energy. I'm getting strong love here because, I mean, the first card I pulled for you was the loyal heart. Um, I will be getting bridging energies, but I feel like whoever this person was always had one foot out the back door. With the two of pentacles, now, again, sometimes the two of pentacles can suggest a juggle. And if this is a love reading for you, this could be somebody who made you feel like an option somebody who did not uh, prioritize you and with the eight of swords it's oh, i'm getting devil energy here i mean you may be a capricorn or you may be dealing with one um, but i feel like um, with the eight of swords it's almost like you couldn't get out of it you didn't know how to get out of it it's like you were stuck sometimes when um, we are so used to dealing with abuse and abuse, I, I, I mean physical abuse, mental abuse, spiritual abuse even. Uh, we almost get used to it. It almost becomes our oxygen, you know. Um, and it's hard to step out of that comfort zone no matter how uncomfortable it is. Um, but we do have a shift. We have the Eight of Pentacles which talks about hard work. Now, whether this is you shifting your focus from love and focusing on your career or it is you working on yourself and your because the eight of pentacles leads to the nine of pentacles, right, which is that independence, emotional and financial. So I see you putting in the work towards something. It also does say a uh, lot of prudence. So I feel like um, prudence is key here. Discernment is key here. And right under that, beautifully, we have the Ten of Cups. And that's a wonderful last main card to get, which it, it says the Lord of Perfected Success. Once you get the Ten of Cups, you've reached the, the epitome of happiness. So um, let's get a couple of bridging energies to see. The Seven of Wands. To be very frank with you, the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands are my nonsense cards. They are very diluted energies, of course, because they're minor arcana, but they're nonsensical. <laughs> There's no depth to these energies. With the Seven of Wands, I feel like you almost, it does say Lord of Valor, which could mean bravery. I could see this two ways. Either you finally realized what was going on and you stood your guard, you stood your ground. Or I feel like whoever this person was who you were dealing with, it's almost like they were resilient. I'm getting such a horrible energy here and I don't want to say it in so many words. Um, it's almost like this person made it their mission to make you miserable. I'm sorry, I know that's harsh, but that's what I'm getting. And this could be in the workplace as well. I mean, just because we have the loyal heart doesn't mean this is a love reading. It could mean in the workplace where a boss was making it their mission to make you miserable or it was a co-worker or it could even be a business partner. Take it how it resonates. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. I feel that once you get out of this energy, 
once you let bygones be bygones and i was speaking to somebody just yesterday uh, and we were swapping stories about how miserable our lives have been and you know how people have hurt us and all of that and both of us came to that realization that the moment we could let that grudge go is when we forgive it's when we let go and it doesn't mean verbal forgiveness it doesn't mean you need to get on a call or face to face with that person and say okay i forgive you you know because that can be painful sometimes sometimes you just need to forgive yourself and forgive that person within you um you know just dwell in that energy of forgiveness and i feel like once that happens it's almost like a new leaf is turned over and it's interesting how i said leaf because the ace of pentacles as i always say is a seed it is a seed which needs to be nurtured it needs to be watered and uh it needs to be cared for so that it can turn into a big old oak so i feel like it's almost like you're rerouting not rerouting i mean rerouting yourself it it does say the lord of the root of the powers of earth so it's like you're building new roots some of you may even be shifting homes moving homes maybe wherever you were at was the memories were too painful you know you didn't really want to be around that energy anymore and it's like you're looking for a fresh start so that could be it could also mean shifting to a new company a new job maybe starting a new business the empress how beautiful is this reading this is absolutely wonderful the empress is the nurturer she is the amalgamation of all the queens in the tarot whatever the empress touches flourishes i was talking about the seed i feel like what spring is bringing forth for you is a departure of the old and the arrival of well growth abundance and my god this is cohesive this is absolutely wonderful um i'm going to get a couple more cards here for you seven of pentacles three sevens that could mean something significant for some of you but with the seven of pentacles i'm almost feeling like a few of you um probably felt that you put a lot of time effort and energy uh, and invested a lot of that um uh, strength almost into whatever this relationship or career path was and it does say the lord of success unfulfilled so it's almost like when it was time to reap your harvest it's like all the work you put in and you are finally waiting for things to either uh accelerate and you know kind of maybe you were even looking for a promotion you were looking for a raise in pay uh if you're here for career i feel like it didn't come about for you and you were like wow i wasted a whole lot of time in this and this could again even mean for love um maybe you were giving you were the giver in the relationship and you kept giving 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 till you had nothing more to give and this could mean love as well as well finances maybe you were helping your partner out with money and uh, i feel like when it uh, when judgment day came about you were given nothing i'm not saying you were giving with the intention of receiving but at the end of the day i mean there is only so much we can pour into other people without you know depleting ourselves so i feel like you felt depleted oh my goodness this is a beautiful reading whoever's picked this pile is one lucky person the wheel of fortune it's all changing look at that look at the circles I am thinking about the wheel of life. I am thinking about karma. I am thinking about what goes around comes around. We cannot decide uh when the person who hurt us will receive their karma. That is up to the universe. And the minute we start chasing that aspect is the minute we start mirroring that karma if that makes sense. So The wheel of fortune always tells us to take a step back and let the universe take control. I'm sorry if you can hear hammering this construction happening right next door. Um but the three fates 
as we know them, they measure, cut and weave our future. It's not really in our hands. Well, it kind of is because we can uh, create our own reality and most of us do. But sometimes when it is difficult to make decisions and difficult to take control, let go. And when you do let go is when that opportunity comes rolling in. Easier said than done. But then again, listen, we've all been through it. We've all been through the ringer at some point or the other in our lives, right? So I'm speaking from experience. Let go. If you start making decisions from a broken heart, you'll make the wrong ones. All right? Queen of Pentacles. You remember I said um, the Eight of Pentacles leads to the Nine of Pentacles. What is interesting is the Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. And one of the most beautiful qualities of the Empress is the Queen of Pentacles. I remember I told you the Empress is an amalgamation of all the Queens. So I feel like you are focusing on you. And it is beautiful that pentacles are showing up in a spring reading because pentacles represent growth they represent the earth and you are turning over a new leaf and i feel like once you start bettering yourself bettering your heart healing your heart healing your mind and working through all of this trauma whatever this has been for you you're going to be attracting miracles the Ten of Cups, like I said, being the last card and loyal heart, I feel like whoever this is that is coming towards you, whether this is for love, um, I feel like you will be significantly happier than you have been in the past. And be proud of yourself. I feel like going through whatever this is. Now, see, I don't have any massively painful cards. I don't have the Ten of Swords. I don't have um, the Devil. But I'm getting that energy here. You know? So, um, I feel like give yourself a pat on the back. And realize that now it is okay for you to move forward. It's okay for you to shed that uncomfortable blanket. And move on with your life. And be proud of yourself for it. If, you, if there are any of you who have been um, building your own businesses from the ground up, uh, I feel like you can see significant growth here as well. And again, like I said, the universe does like to take the wheel when we feel out of control. But once you get that control back, I feel like put in that hard work. Look at the details, look at the finer details of your life and make sure you have them, have all your ducks lined up. And even if you don't, it is a process. Life is a process. And no matter what, be loyal to yourself first. The longest relationship you've ever been in uh, has been with yourself. And only when you are proud of yourself and only once you know your self-worth is when you will be able to attract the life that you so deserve. Right? All right, we do have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. That's quite beautiful. If you're here for love, this is a beautiful reading. I would expect um, wonderful things coming your way. For some of you, I'm also getting, since we have the Two of Pentacles and then the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune, it is possible that somebody from the past who was almost juggling two pentacles and couldn't make up their mind, finally chooses one. And I think it's you. Now, again, I do not promote anyone being okay being an option for another and i do not condone anyone waiting for another person to return but if that is something that your heart desires i do see that coming about for you all right now i'm going to get you a couple of tea leaves just to close off the reading massive deck so i'm just going to split them we have january Whatever this was may have happened in January and I remember mentioning Capricorn so either you are one or you're dealing with one doesn't have to be but I feel like winter has passed. The, the frost is thawing. I feel like you can expect your flowers to bloom now. Alright, we have staff. 
you will be taken care of in difficult times. Beautiful. What did I say? Let the universe take the wheel. And you will be glad you did because the universe will never lead you astray. All right. Oh, we have another month. We have August. Beautiful. Could be a Leo um, or a Virgo. Could be dealing with one. And with January, you could be even dealing with um, an Aquarius for some of you. Uh, so with August, I feel like something significant could be coming about in August. And I'm also getting fifth house energy uh, for some reason because, I mean, August is Leo season mostly. Uh, I feel like a few of you need to start delving deeper into your hobbies, be a little more creative and express yourself through art. Even if you're, you know, whether you're left-brained or right-brained, it's always nice to let out your creativity every now and then. All right, then we have key, successful outcome to your problems. Absolutely wonderful reading. Problems being the key word here. And, oh, key. Hang on. Do you remember what I said about the keys? I'm getting soulmate energy here because the loyal heart card is a soulmate card. I feel like you will be or maybe most likely will be attracting a person who gets you. Someone who gets you, someone who almost mirrors you in a beautiful way, someone you don't have to change yourself for. If you're here for love, that is. And if you're here for work, I wouldn't dismiss a partnership. There may be somebody who shares your work ethic and somebody who can actually help you prosper. All right. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pile 1. See you next time. Hello, Pile 2. If you picked the Fountain Tarot or the Blue Kyanite, this is your reading. Uh, I'm just going to scoot this aside for a second and get a couple of Oracle cards uh, just to kick off your reading. Now, to start with, let's get you a Wisdom of the Oracle just to get an overview. We have Message in a Bottle. Nice. No planets in retrograde especially Mercury, so I would expect communication. Whatever kind of communication you're waiting for. Um, let's get you um, a Moonology. Find a balance. Full Moon in Libra. All right. With message in a bottle, I feel like if you are expecting communication on uh, the work front or love, I feel like it's going to come about in a very untraditional way. It will come about firstly when you least expect it. And for some of you, it may feel like it's like you're almost giving up. You're like, it's not going to happen. And the minute you let go is when it does. That's what I'm getting for a few of you. For a few of you, I'm also getting that you may get news about a baby, a baby being born, because uh, we have a stock right here. So um, I feel like expect unconventional modes of communication. Could be a letter. I mean, more people should write letters, right? I mean, I don't know why that's dying. But, um, and I'm also getting for a few of you um, communication about travel. Maybe you could be traveling for work or somebody could be coming in uh, to see you. With find a balance, that card does speak for itself, but we will see once we clarify with your tarot. All right, pile two. Two of pentacles find a balance oh wheel of fortune if you can hear hammering next door i'm really sorry this construction is taking forever we have the queen of wands fire energy We have the Six of Pentacles. Nice balance. You're getting a lot of balance cards. Um, it's good to see. We have the Ten of Swords. 
All right, not to worry. And we have the Four of Swords, good to see. I mean, the Four of Swords is a wonderful card to get right after the Ten of Swords. Um, let me just quickly adjust my camera, sorry about that. Um, I will be pulling bridging energies, but let's skim over this real quick. With the Two of Pentacles, there is a juggle happening. Um, I hate to um, relate this to love sometimes because it can talk about not being a priority or not making someone a priority. Could be having multiple options uh, in terms of romantic partners. We will see. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, that's changing. <laughs> right? I'm going to skip over this blob right here to talk about the Six of Pentacles first. With the Two of Pentacles, whatever juggle this is, whatever indecision almost there has been, I feel like you can expect truly balance to come in because the Six of Pentacles talks about that equal give and take. It talks about generosity of spirit. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords, I feel like whatever mental trauma you have been going through, if you let go of control is when the wheel can shift. The wheel of fortune is a major arcana. It is orchestrated by the universe. It is not in your hands. It's not in my hands. It's in nobody else's hands but the universe's. The ten of swords for me can be a card of mastery. Every sword in the ten of swords represents a thought. <clears throat> it could be a nugget of wisdom of intellect wow that hammering is loud i don't know how loud it is for you but it is incredibly loud for me i'm sorry about that anyway as i was saying every sword is a thought it is a piece of wisdom that you have gained over time it is a lesson that you have learned that you will never repeat again because you've realized how painful it can be it's almost like a rewiring of the brain happens uh the ten of swords always progresses to an ace of swords so keep that in mind then we have the queen of wands and the four of swords after the ten of swords it is absolutely essential for you to heal um, it does not take ten swords to kill a man it is overkill it is something that's been overdone it's overthinking and only when you quiet the mind is when you can successfully extract yourself from this energy field with the Queen of Wands, I do see you stepping into your power. I see you being fearless and bold. I know, massive leap. But then again, the Wheel of Fortune being smack dab in the middle of your reading. Uh, the change will be significant. Let's see. Let's see what advice we have. Um, oh, lovely. We have the Ace of Cups. Strength. Leo energy could be a Leo could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra five of Pentacles mm, right with the ace of cups you remember I told you about balance um, I feel like whatever was unbalanced or imbalanced in the past for me the ace of cups can be the solution to that why the Ace of Cups is not always just an offer of love from an external source. It is, of course it is, but it is also you pouring that love into you, into your own cup, filling up your own cup. And why I am stressing on that is because we have the Strength card right next to it. Strength is, I mean, the card itself is ruled by Leo, who rules the fifth house, which talks about the heart. It talks about you. It talks about your passions, your dreams, your desires, your creativity, romance, love, joy, happiness. If you are not receiving that balance from an external place, you don't need that validation from anybody else. Pour that love into you. And once you do, it's almost like, how should I put it? I'm getting a really weird metaphor in my head. All right. Let's say you're walking down a street, okay, you're looking for a place to eat dinner at. Will you enter a restaurant that is empty with poor lighting and it just looks really depressing? Or will you enter a lively, happy restaurant that is full of life and joy and happy customers? 
I'm not calling you a restaurant, but just try and understand what I'm saying here. Once you pour that light and that joy within your psyche and within your being is when you will light up, is when you will start attracting butterflies and not bats. Does that make sense? With the strength card, I feel like there was a lot of fear as well. It's almost like you felt like you will never be able to get out of this situation, whatever this was that was causing you this anxiety. But again, with the wheel of fortune and the universe orchestrating it, once you put your needs first is when things can be balanced. And I see you doing that. I see you doing that this spring. I am drawn to the flowers on this card. And I feel like when spring approaches, it's like the ground thaws and those sprouts can finally show their faces. I feel like something or someone was suppressing you over and over and over again. And you feel you probably felt suffocated. And this, this could very well just be your own psyche suffocating you, where you felt like, I'm getting very eight of swords energy here, where you felt trapped and you couldn't get out of this. But I feel like you finally can. We do have the five of pentacles here. Don't throw yourself any pity parties, pile two. Uh, I'm an honest reader and I don't sugarcoat my readings and we all do this. The five of pentacles is a oh poor me energy. You've been through the ringer, I get it. There was no balance, I get it. The more you sit in this mentality of lack is the farther away you go from this queen of, so queen of wands powerful energy. The farther away you go from healing yourself. In order to find that balance between your heart and your head, a head which has been overthinking and a heart which could probably be broken, um, the only way you can do that is by taking yourself out of the cold, speaking to people who have your back truly, whether this is your soul tribe, friends, family, whoever it could be, it could be leaning into spirituality to find yourself again. Whatever it may be, I feel like the Queen of Wands is the energy that is dying to burst forth. It's that sprout that's dying to burst forth. Let's get a couple of um, bridging energies. What did I say? The Ten of Swords upgrades itself to the Ace of Swords. This is that sprout for me. This is that truth, that authenticity. You rising like a phoenix from the ashes. And two aces crossing each other, that is absolutely wonderful. And if there is ever a time to see two aces together like this, um, it is uh, during the equinox, during spring. And what is absolutely beautiful here is the Ace of Cups can be a very wishy-washy cup of love. Now, this is very quickly turned into a love reading. If you're here for career, I'm sorry, but I will try and incorporate it here somewhere. But this is a love reading for me. With the Ace of Swords, uh, sorry, with the Ace of Cups, it can be a wishy-washy cup of love. It can just be dreamy and sunshine and rainbows and all of that. The Ace of Swords almost adds weight to it. It is that truth. It is clarity. There's nothing Neptunian about this energy. It is literally balancing heart and head. I feel like initially, if you may have been thinking solely uh, from a place of love and approaching relationships solely from a place of love, it's almost like your mind wants to take the wheel. And once it does, it's almost like you start attracting energies towards you who are balanced and in equilibrium with, within themselves as well. You know, and with message in a bottle, again, I'm getting that same feeling. Um, it's almost like the conversation that you can expect is not going to be sharp and cutting. Because the Ace of Swords on its own can be that kind of conversation. It will be very well rounded with the Ace of Cups. It will be full of love and clarity and truth and honesty. 
and with the two of pentacles whatever indecision there was in the past i feel like you can expect all of that to shift all right we have the eight of pentacles work is required here most definitely and i feel like this is not uh, external work it is internal work you need to work on yourself you need to work on healing yourself and for some of you for career i feel like you may be quite done with a particular career path you may be quite done with what you've been doing uh, so far and it's almost like so it's funny when i got the queen of wands there was just one word that kept popping up in my head which was creativity 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 it, it just kept swirling around in my brain and i'm getting that again i feel if you're here for career um you are extracting yourself from a situation or a career path that only paid the bills for you and nothing else it did not bring about any emotional satisfaction for some of you it's also possible with the six of pentacles that there was imbalance you were not being paid enough for the kind of work that you were putting in you know you weren't being given enough credit um but with two aces it's either you jumping into a new um job per se and with message in a bottle you may hear about that very quickly or it's just you starting something brand new for yourself intermingling heart and head something that brings you joy but it is prudent enough it is smart enough to pay the bills for you it it, it talks about looking at the intricacies uh of whatever it is that you're doing some of you may even be craftsmen you could be artists working with your hands maybe you were in a corporate job and now you just want to like kick that to the curb and be like no i want to pursue my creativity because that's what brings me balance that's what brings me joy and with the wheel of fortune i feel like that is when the wheel starts turning for you and we have the four of pentacles this is again that energy of holding on out of fear of almost trying to control something because you are afraid of change the five of pentacles can be a very difficult energy to be in for me the five of pentacles is worse than the eight of swords to be honest they are both mental energies in my opinion it is possible that whatever losses that you have suffered in the past it's almost like you're too afraid to put yourself out there again whether this is in work or career it's almost like you know when you invest too much in a particular person or even in a career path and you don't get the return that you were expecting you're almost like you know i'm closed off i'm not going to give anything i'm not going to give any love i'm not going to work towards this i'm not going to i'm not going to not going <laughs> to that's what i'm getting but you need to get out of this energy you need to open yourself up again that is the only way you will be able to find balance in this situation and um, let's get one final card here three of cups how beautiful if you're here for love this could mean a reunion for somebody it could also mean a celebration uh in terms of i have finally been able to let go celebrating with your soul tribe celebrating with people who have your back and people who love you it could mean a reconciliation of course um this is my reconciliation card um but it could also mean for some of you a partnership i know this is not the 3 of pentacles but the 3 of cups always gives me that vibe of somebody collaborating with people who not only share the same work ethic but who share the same love language for what it is that they love to do for work you know and if this is a collaborative experience uh when it comes to something creative i feel like it's going to help you shine it's people who will help polish your skills almost this is quite specific for somebody but if there is a partnership that could be knocking at your door i wouldn't dismiss it all right um all right let's get you a couple of tea leaves and oh by the way we have the empress bottom of the deck and 
the empress is the most beautiful card to get in a spring reading because whatever the empress touches uh, i mean it just expands it grows and she she or you uh, will be experiencing that nurturing spirit and i feel like spring is going to almost take you out of that darkness bring you that balance and i think all of that is going to start with communication whatever communication you've been waiting on all right tea leaves will not attempt to shuffle this deck it is massive yoke feeling tied down or frustrated exactly this is that what what did i say about the four of um pentacles and the five of pentacles feeling tied down feeling like you can't move feeling like you can't uh have a new beginning feel like that's in the past heartache over what you no longer have now listen i place my cards intuitively all right and all of this is past energy i feel like you're just getting over um all of this drama all of this pain hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally absolutely i mean with the 10 of swords energy right here i feel like if anyone deserves a break it's you guys so kick up your heels camel persevere and you will overcome problems absolutely this is nine of wands energy for me the nine of wands is in the tarot it's the card of the wounded warrior it is somebody who's been through hell and back but still stands strong and you have been through the ringer i can tell it i can tell it i can tell um so i feel like don't give up don't put yourself in that five of pentacles energy it's all right to take a break and just to recharge your batteries and you know heal but don't to give up and i'm also getting for a few of you that saving is very important right now the camel does uh save water and stores water in his humps whenever he needs it for a for a rainy day almost and the four of pentacles can also be an energy of saving your finances and your resources so maybe i mean if you're looking to invest somewhere it might not be the best time it might be better to hold on to your money for now till you find a better investment opportunity all right that's all i have for you uh, i hope you enjoyed your reading pile 2 i will see you in the next one bye bye hello pile 3 if you picked the animal deck uh, or the lapis lazuli this is your reading i'm going to scoot this over for just a minute um and get you a couple of oracle cards to start off the reading all right let's get your wisdom of the oracle first nice we're getting a lot of cards of balance pile 2 also had a similar energy we have to be fair number 38 let's get you a uh, moonology Make time for self-love. Last quarter moon in Libra. Libra. That's Libra energy as well. You could be a Libra yourself, or could have it heavily in your chart, or you could be dealing with one. When it comes to to be fair, it talks about balance. It talks about authenticity. It talks about wisdom. If you see that little owl right on top of her head, it can also talk about karma we do have the the fortune cookie on the left side of the weighing scales and we have an egg on the right which can talk about new beginnings karma is something neither of us have a hold of we can't control it it is orchestrated by the universe so this is giving me a mixture of the justice card and the wheel of fortune it talks about being wise and authentic and chucking up the rest to the universe to handle knowing that if you are true to yourself is when the scales will be balanced for you and luck could be coming in for you we do have a bunting right on top of the card which could represent a celebration so if some of you are even um battling like a legal case or something i feel like things will uh, be i mean the outcome could be in your favor and make time for self love that does speak for itself but we will see how we can correlate that to your tarot 
Alright, pile three. I'm not focusing on love or career. I mean, the readings before you have been primarily focused on love. But we'll just see um, what the cards want to say. The Wheel of Fortune has come up for all three piles now. And I love that because... Like I said in the beginning, if you heard the intro, uh, it is a start of a brand new year, astrologically speaking. And this does remind me of the Zodiac Wheel. So I feel like you have experienced, I mean, you've been through all 12 seasons, all 12 signs, right? And every sign has something to teach. So you've learned those 12 lessons and I feel like things can finally start moving for you. If you can hear hammering, I'm really sorry. There's construction happening next door. There's nothing I can do about it. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. All right. Another Owl. Wisdom, remember? We have the Six of Wands. Beautiful. Lots of Wands happening. Lots of fire coming in. Three of Wands. five of swords right this has been a kind of recurring theme this month uh like i said with the wheel of fortune you can expect things to be balanced and i did mention it when i was talking about um the to be fair card it being a, a an amalgamation of the justice card and the wheel of fortune for me i feel like sometimes when we find ourselves in a position where we can't make decisions and we can't control the outcome of whatever it is that we are desiring. It is better to just trust and have faith. Um, and with the Six of Wands, I feel like that faith is being rewarded or it will be rewarded. With the Eight of Wands right here, I would expect communication if you are waiting for it. Uh, I could even expect travel for a few of you. There are no planets in retrograde till the end of April. And that is, I mean, we're all breathing a huge sigh of relief. Things are moving, okay? Things are progressing. Travel restrictions are slowly being lifted when it comes to the pandemic. And um, I feel like a lot of people are, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I've noticed this. A lot of people have been working on their throat chakras. So it's almost like conversations that were being buried and swept under the rug. Those conversations are being... Um, I mean, that authentic truth is being spoken. With, with the Three of Wands, it's almost like you were waiting for this. You were waiting for this opportunity. Whether this was even a call on the job front, you were waiting to hear from uh, an employer or you were waiting to hear on a loan to start your own business, whatever it may be, I feel like it will be rewarded. There will be success here. There will be recognition here. With the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords, uh, I do see you using your cerebral power uh, and, you know, making wise and prudent decisions, uh, using your better judgment to make decisions. I am a little stumped as to why the Five of Swords is here. The Five of Swords for me <clears throat> could just mean a shortcut to success. It could just mean um, this could be you, this could be somebody around you. But it's almost like not putting in enough work, but expecting that recognition, you know. Uh, but let's see. Let's get a couple of bridging cards. We have the five of cups. There has been sadness here. And I feel like that is that is the balance that you're seeking. You're, you're hoping for the wheel to turn so you can be happy again, plain and simple. Um, with the five of cups, if you, if you are familiar with the original Rider Waite, the Five of Cups is represented by a man, a hooded figure who is crying, he's sad, he's in grief. He's looking at the three cups that have been spilled before him, but he's failing to see the two cups that stand full and upright behind him. This is that glass half full analogy. Being grateful for what you have and not letting the past loss affect your future. Um, all right. All right, three cups. What did I say? The three cups that was spilt. Some of you may even be, oh, the lovers. Mm. I don't like to talk about third party situations. It is possible that a few of you were put in that position and it wasn't fair to you. 
uh, I am also getting for a few of you that there are people around you who love you with the three of cups people who want to support you and nurture you people who cherish you and I feel like whatever has transpired here you may have wanted to shut yourself out from the world and I am getting very hermit like energy here I, I don't know why um, we do have two threes, which is why I jumped to the conclusion of a third party situation because when two threes show up together, it can suggest it sometimes. Um, and with the lovers card, again, the lovers was originally called the choice. So if you felt like you were made an option in a particular love situation, I feel like there could be communication coming in fair and honest communication to balance those those scales for you you know what i mean um i want one more card here actually i'm going to skip forward and then i'm going to get crossing cards later five of wands two fives together which represent change there has been conflict there has been conflict in the past there has been arguments and the five of wands again is a card of uh, of competition so if this was in the workplace for you, I feel like some of you may have felt betrayed by even your co-workers or your partners, your, your business partners. Oh, hang on a minute. You have three fives. You don't have two fives. You have three fives. You may be seeing triple five a lot, but fives always represent change, which the Wheel of Fortune also represents. Um, I feel like you're leaving a lot of this behind. You're leaving a lot of this BS behind. And the Queen of Swords, this is not your energy now, I get it. The Queen of Swords is you. The Queen of Swords is you understanding uh, what you need to and who you need to eliminate from your life. There have been people, emotional vampires almost, who could have been sucking you dry. Um, hermit, what did I say? I'm getting hermit-like energy here. I feel like whatever pain you've been going through, you've wanted to be by yourself you've wanted to be alone and I feel like that there, there's this sense overall sense of you not trusting anybody anymore but there are people around you who get it who, who want to support you who want to help you and we do have a divine match right here the king of swords I feel like whoever this person was, if you're here for love, if you were dealing with somebody from the past who was not trustworthy, I feel like that is changing. And I'm getting this so strongly, Pile 3, because to be fair, Libra energy is again air energy. It is mental energy. Libra energy here again. You could be, a, be an air sign very well and you could be dealing with one as well. But I feel like it's almost like this person is coming back in to match your frequency. Not in a, I'm going to try and one-up you kind of way. No, it's almost like you are standing in your authentic truth and this person wants to come, come about with the authentic truth. You know what I mean? There is a conversation coming about here. And I feel like with the hermit card, whatever loss you have suffered and again if you're here for career if this was a loss of a job or something i feel like the downtime that you had to yourself it's almost like because if you see the flame it's like the crown chakra expanding and opening up energetically i feel like all of that downtime has helped you it's almost polished your cerebral prowess if that makes sense and it's it's helped you make better decisions um the two of swords you know when i i'm going to mess up the spread here but i need to show this to you when i got the three of cups i kept looking at the sun now every card has a lot of symbols right and one wouldn't notice every symbol in every reading but if you are drawn to as a reader a particular symbol it means something and i was drawn to the sun i wanted to talk about it but i stopped myself we have the two of swords here and we have an eclipse. The moon in the tarot represents fear and something that is hidden. And the sun represents growth, honesty, clarity, truth. I feel like uh, once you come out of hermit mode, 
once you realize what your authentic truth is is when you can finally make that decision that you so badly want to make with that queen of swords you want to be in that wise energy of of standing your ground making your own rules and not letting your heart and emotions control your decisions you know because we all do that right but i always say this if the heart is broken you have to let the mind take the wheel because the heart will just make decisions that are biased to itself um let's get one more card here ace of wands yes look at the color match how beautiful for some of you i am getting there could be a friend around you who um feels more than just a, a platonic relationship and i feel like you could expect them to come about i'm suddenly getting a lot of fire somehow i'm getting i'm looking at the flame here i'm looking at the ace of wands i'm looking at the orange here and i'm getting that from you working on your crown and your third eye chakras it's almost like the, the focus is going exactly the focus is going into that that sacral and solar plexus place it's going into being more self confident being giving yourself that love giving yourself that care this is very interesting to me i need more there is a new energy coming your way there is a new beginning coming your way it may start off small uh for those of you who are trying to start your own businesses i wouldn't uh i wouldn't expect this to transform overnight uh you may need to learn a few things before you can truly reach that epitome of success that we all so badly want to reach uh so be okay uh with being a student of life is what i would suggest to you and when it comes to love i feel like whoever this person is whether again it is an energy from the past i don't know or it is somebody from you know the future they are they could be firstly younger than you could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn but it is somebody who is almost not walking on eggshells but somebody who wants to be very careful about how they're approaching you there is a lot of passion here there is a lot of love here uh but it's almost like they're worried about how they will be received i think from the past whatever you've dealt with you being in this queen of swords energy it can be a little um scary especially if it's a new energy trying to approach you because you're so guarded right but i feel like slowly and steadily you may open up a little bit and i feel like things are going to start changing uh bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles and the high priestess again taurus virgo capricorn and we have pisces energy i would expect stability i would expect you to prosper uh this spring when it comes to your work life because the king of pentacles is somebody who doesn't necessarily like change but is open to it but it is also somebody who is very grounded and very rooted in their values and their authentic truth you need to make time for that self love i feel like whatever you've been through whatever winter has put you through I feel like spring is coaxing you and trying to nurture you to get out of this hermit energy and embrace the new opportunities that could be coming in for you right now. Nice reading. I like it. All right, we have a month, January. This came up for pile 1 as well. Um I did say winter. So I feel like winter has been particularly difficult for you. and january may be significant in terms of a birth month for somebody you're dealing with or for you but like i said the ground is thawing i was getting a lot of swords you remember i said that i was getting so many swords and then i suddenly started getting fire um uh, i feel like i was getting air initially and then i started getting fire i feel like that's the balance that needs to be maintained passion and intellect I see that coming about and I see that fire thawing out any kind of coldness and bitterness boot increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals I get that you remember what I said about the page of pentacles being a student of life of not worrying about the fact that they may not know everything that you may not know everything 
um, so I feel like if you're starting something new it's all right to learn and go step by step haystack karma you will reap what you have sown what did I say about to be fair and the wheel of fortune I feel like you've put in the work or at least you're starting to you're making time for self-love and whatever authenticity you have been displaying in your life I was talking about that earlier uh, I feel like you will be rewarded for it karma can be a very bitter word for a few people because sometimes we can be really hard on ourselves and we can tell ourselves that okay you know we've done one particular thing that's been wrong and we didn't do it intentionally but we did it anyway karma is going to come and bite me in the ass it doesn't work like that you know if your intentions haven't been wrong if you've, you've been a good person and you have, haven't hurt anybody intentionally there's nothing that you need to worry about all right goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth beautiful i see the material growth happening with the father of pentacles uh, the king of pentacles and the wheel of fortune so most definitely and with the spiritual growth with the hermit card i feel like you did go within and when you did go within you found nuggets of wisdom that you can cherish for the rest of your life because when we go through very dark nights of the soul when we go through the shadow aspect of life is when we learn the biggest lessons of life and for some of you i am also getting that you may be starting a new creative project i've been getting this a lot uh something that makes your heart happy as well as your wallet happy and again make time for self-love something that you love doing that's what i'm getting here all right i hope you enjoyed your reading pile three i will see you next time Bye bye